calling the emergency services. Oh my god! Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel, and if you happen to be new here, hello, my name is Chachi, and today I am watching Season 2, Episode 5 of Good Omens. Y'all, we're down to the wire now, the final two episodes of Season 2, and last time we left off with Chax, basically with the authorization of Beelzebub, declaring war on Crowley and Aziraphale. They plan to take a legion of demons to the bookshop and essentially wipe them out as they search for, for Gabriel. And you know, I'm a little nervous because they tend to like really end them in them, wipe them from existence. But as of the filming of this episode, I just recently found out that season three of Good Omens is official, it's renewed, so I'm very happy and also reassured. <laughs> <laughs> that no matter how this season ends, we're gonna get more. So that's a good feeling. Perfect timing for me. But anyway, before we begin, a reminder that because of copyright, I'm not gonna be able to show you everything in this video. However, if you do want the full reaction, you'll be able to access that on my Patreon. But for now, let's get started. Thank you all so much for being here. And this is my first time watching season two, episode five of Good Omens. I'll need musicians at the Whitmer Street Traders and Shopkeepers Association monthly meeting this Oh, evening. yeah, he's like but throwing a party or something. Oh. I have, at the back of my bookshop, a 1965 Doctor Who animal. Doctor Who? I'm about to start watching Doctor Who, too. The 1965 to annual was indeed never printed. Mine is the only known proof copy. Is this real Doctor Who history here? Oh yeah, yeah, he's in. That did it. Big Doctor Who fan. And I know David Tennant is one of the doctors, so this is hilarious. <laughs> Greetings. <laughs> Listen to me now, oh, legions. Even in hell they have this problem. A legion's like about 6,000 demons. Yes, I know. We're only about 175th of a legion. I know. Shax will take what Shax can get. We are going to Earth to storm a bookshop. Are they killing humans too? I guess, right? I mean, they're all going to be there, so yeah. Tonight, 6.30, my shop. Perfectly ordinary invitation with no hidden agenda of any kind. Are they going to talk about the Christmas lights? Because I have things to say. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'll be there. Nina has complaints. <laughs> Been together long. Ooh. You and your partner. Oh! <laughs> yes. It certainly looks very like long. Here. He's just an angel. I know. You say so. Angel. And then again, other people's love lives all seem so much more straightforward than her own. Oh yeah, she's having problems. You can tell. The big transport is our service. You'll have to use the little transport one at a time. We'll take the stairs. <laughs> My god, there's a mess over here in hell. Nothing works. <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, sunshine is gone. We'll take the stairs. <laughs> the stairs it is. It's the stairway to the earth, I guess. Oh <laughs> my god. I was loving Nina and Crowley's conversation. I mean, they're so obvious, aren't they? I mean, they're always together. They're, they're, they clearly act like an old couple. So of course she picks up on that. It's just so fun to see them sort of scramble. <laughs> As she's calling them out, trying to determine, like, what exactly has happened between them. Oh, it was great. <laughs> He's a child. He's practically a child, the way he acts. Mr. Fowl's been very good to me. Surprising, really, given that the last time you two met, you tried to destroy him. He's just going to tell him everything. He wasn't there, you see? <clears throat> All right, it was there. him. It was him there. <laughs> you saw that set of Gabriel. When you told my only friend to shut his stupid mouth and die. Oh my god. And I did 
did not care for it. I am loving this. I really am sorry. That is true. Is there anything I can do? Oh, yeah. Jump out that window. What? All right. What? He's gonna do it! <laughs> Crowley, stop him! Stop! <laughs> Waited long enough. You took your memory out of a matchbox. Yes, that's right. I matchbox. took it out and I put it in the box and I brought it here. And it's in heaven. There it is. So it's still in the matchbox. He said he took it out though, but I think it's still in there? It's just a zero file. The traitor. Yes. He seemed very... traitorous. Mm. And his grumpy friend, Mr. Crowley. Sure. The demon. Oh, I suppose that explains the grumpiness. <laughs> Not really, it's just who he is. The traitor and the demon had a secret meeting about what to do next. Ah! Oh no, and oh no. What did they say? They don't know. Oh, I didn't listen. They said it was private. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Very <Marianne>. often. <laughs> what are you planning? What are you doing? Wait and see. Wait and see. Any idea how irritating it is? Svav, Nina, and Maggie? You have to stand here and just calm. Perhaps you could check in on Nina and Maggie and make sure they oh, no. are on their way. Planning all this for Nina and Maggie? So romantic. <laughs> Crowley. But it's the after work rush and the several regulars gonna need seeing to. I'm sure your young ladies know what to do by now. Oh, is she a. Uh... She on a what brothel? exactly is it that they do do? They stand on their own two feet, like the government said. Hmm. <laughs> Mr. Fell, where are the seats I dropped off? We have to move them away again when the dancing begins, wouldn't we? Better to keep them till later. Yeah, it's seen. has his has a history of dancing. We've seen that before. Give me coffee or give me death. What was, who was she? What was that look? Something's going on. Oh, oh. He, Something's wrong. He senses something. That lady, she was acting weird. He has an intuition he that something's happening. You're weird. Ah, you know, listen to the man. What's happening? It's happening already? What? The bookshop is going to protect them, right? I'm going mad. Why, my dear, it is Nina, purveyor of coffee for Oh my god! Needs. Charmed. This is amazing! <laughs> Aziraphale, you know how to throw a party. Hello, would you like to try one of these tiny little dinners? They're free. His <laughs> suit! So sparkly. Oh my god! <gasps> oh my god, Maggie. Oh my god, they're coming. They're terrified. Crowley, 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 yes, yes, yes! Who's got Oh my god, he intervened. Oh my lord. Your demons. Rishax. You are out of order! You're not one of them anymore, though, Crowley. <laughs> oh! Look at them. That smile. She smiled. She saw her. <laughs> They're holding hands. Jane Austen. We're having a ball. I could have taught you to Oh, ball. yes, I I of course. I'll be with you in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Have a volleyball. I haven't heard that line since Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This is very much Jane Austen. This is their fault. They're doing this. Nina's smart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, I love him. What a romantic. And then Crowley's just trying to keep things together. He knows it's outside. Oh my god, they're just waiting. They can do what they want, though, right? Nothing is really stopping them other than the rules, the laws, or whatever. There is something really wrong. Well, perhaps you could tell me while we dance. We don't dance. A zero for. <laughs> He does, he's not listening to what Crowley's trying to say. <laughs> Shacks. Zach is here. Oh, yeah. We're about to begin. 
How sweet. They're having a party. And you're gonna crash it. I don't think Lindsay actually liked me very much. Well, I know I'm hard work. I... I don't think so. Lindsay seemed like the hard work to me. I'm not afraid of hard work. Hell has sent oh. demons. They are milling around outside. They want Gabriel. But perfectly safe in here. Aziraphale, take it seriously. Whoa! Here they come. Oh dear. Oh, hello. I'll surrender the angle. Yeah, um, spelling, not the... <laughs> the angle. Surrender the angel. Send out Gabriel. Uh, Might I remind you that this bookshop is technically an independent... They don't care, Aziraphale. This is all because of me, isn't it? Those people want me, don't they? He knows, he knows, he knows. They've caught him Gabriel many times. I'm going out. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gabriel! Oh, hello? What are you wearing? I'm here. I'm who you wanted. Are they gonna believe him? I don't know what you're doing, but you're in my No, no, no. Jax doesn't believe it. Tell that <laughs> ass, Aziraphale, and that art creature, Curly. And excuse you. Yeah, toast. T O S T E O. Oh. Not Don't. quite. <laughs> the spelling issues with the demons is hilarious. I love it. Standard rules of engagement clause 112 subsection 3. Civilian non-combatants must be given sufficient time to evacuate the area of hostilities. Oh! Probably knows the laws. The rules. Get your humans out of there then. Okay, right. saving the humans at least. Stupid to check. Okay. Oh, he made it up! <laughs> right. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Okay. I don't know what's actually going on, but I am going to deal with it. Wait, what, what are you doing, sir? What are you doing? I'm calling the emergency services. <gasps> oh my god! Why are you fine? We just did. Civilian casualty. They killed him. They killed the man! Oh, they're not fucking around. They're not fucking around. Maggie, come on. I'm not leaving him to face them on his own. When I say walk, um... I love that. The loyalty. Zirifa has earned that with her. Is he gonna stay? No. Staying behind to die bravely. Good on you. Right, save lives. Wow, that's huge. Anniversary, huh? <laughs> I'm Dr. Man. Keep it for now, not a good time. Very kind of you, though. Why don't you stand up for yourself? Make your own plans. Oh, I am. But rescuing me makes him so happy. <laughs> oh, I love it. Officer, oh, I what? need to report a crime. You're able to arrest someone if a crime has been committed. Well, yes, arrest shacks? Then arrest me. Oh. What? Arrest him. He wants to go to heaven? Right. Doors opening. What is he doing? Why is he going to heaven? Doors closing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this going to kill him? Shaq's noticing. What does that mean? Oh my god. All right, y'all, we have to talk. <laughs> because that ending, I am a little confused about Crowley's plan here. He has Muriel arrest him, and now they're both headed up to heaven. Now, initially, my thoughts were that he was probably going to try to tip off the angels about what's going down on Earth with the demons, and then they would come down, fight the demons, win the day, save Gabriel, Aziraphale, Nina, and Maggie. However, the problem with that is that they don't know it's Gabriel because of this little miracle that was done by Aziraphale and Crowley, so I don't think that's it. What I really think is happening is that Crowley is going up to heaven to retrieve the matchbox because Gabriel said that his memories are in the matchbox 
So maybe Crowley's ultimate plan is to go to heaven and restore Gabriel's memories. Problem is, I don't trust those damn angels. So what are they gonna do whenever Crowley shows up? He's trying, he has to appeal to them, right? To get to the matchbox. I'm not gonna trust him. <sighs> so I, I, I guess he, he understands, Crowley understands that they're up against all these demons. They're gonna lose. This is his last ditch effort to save Aziraphale because we all know he only cares about Aziraphale in the end, right? So, oh, he's just trying to save his husband. But um, overall, fantastic episode. It was this was so much fun just to just see Aziraphale in his element organizing this ball slash meeting, and, and to also see Crowley trying to put out all these fires. You know, just to make sure everything works out. Meanwhile, Aziraphale is oblivious. He's willing to be oblivious because he's just, he's such a romantic. He wants Maggie and he to fall in love. And <laughs> I also love that in the end with Nina, Aziraphale admits that he allows uh, Crowley to be the hero because it makes him happy. <laughs> it's such a husband thing to do. I love it. Uh, I especially love Maggie's level of loyalty to Aziraphale. It was nice to see, you know, Aziraphale has been nothing but kind to her. Of course, she wants to protect him and help him in any way that she can. And then to have Nina, who didn't even want to be at the party. Girl is having the day, the worst day of her life. She's she's lose, she's lost her partner. She's she's going through hell. She wants to go home and have some wine and chill. But um, she she shows up at the party, and now hell shows up. All these demons, they see these, they see someone die, but still they're willing to stay behind to help out. That's just, that's amazing. Oh man, I hope they don't die. Oh God. But, um, I'm, I'm nervous. This is the, the finale coming up. I don't know, Crowley, he's up. He's up in heaven for the first time and who knows how long. And you know those angels are not going to be happy to see him. They're not going to trust him. They're not going to believe anything he has to say. So I don't know how he's going to do it, but I trust that he will. We'll see. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I had a blast watching this episode. We have the finale next. If you want full access to this reaction, you'll find that over on my Patreon. But until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Adios.